I guess it's part three. Okay, so this is my Ghosts and Goblins, and you guys just saw me do this. And you're going to put that on there, and you're going to push it right at the bottom here. So make sure that this still is your bottom, where the seam is. And then I took this little guy off. And we're just going to stick him down on top. I just love the Google eyes. Not all of them have Google eyes. And normally I'd let that dry, but I'm going to have to push something. Um, I'm pushing the envelope here. So I didn't have enough to do the next five. So I'm going to do something different. So half of them will be slightly different. I'm going to use this instead for the ends. Um, then what I did on my first five. And then I'm going to put some glitter glue. Or not glitter glue. Some hot glue. And don't worry if you get too much. Just be careful that you don't you don't get it um, into the seam. So, and it perfectly should fit there because we're gonna we're gonna cover it up with hot glue or yeah, hot tut. We're gonna cover it up with glitter glue. I'm gonna let that sit for a second while I get this off my fingers. Gotta love the fact. At least it's not burning me. Oh, with it sitting there. And I'm going to snip. These are why I like these scissors, guys. And then I'm going to snip over here. So I got that. And I'm still sticking with the glue. So that's... Ouch. It's sticking. Okay, so there's that part. Gives it like a garland effect. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. There's a lot of glue came on with that one. And I'm putting myself in a really bad position. I'm not comfortable. Okay. So hopefully it won't do it to me this time. And we're going to do that again. I'm going to let that sit for a second because we can pull it up. Matter of fact, I'd probably snip this piece off while it's still drying. Or cooling, per se. So that's done. Okay. So we're just about done. I think we are. We need to do a spider. And I used the purple, if I can find it again. <clears throat> the big Martha Stewart one. And I just punched it. And if you watch how it punches the spider actually comes out kind of curved which is what you kind of want for this and I, I kind of bent it just a little bit more where the spider legs are kind of up a little bit and then I use my pop dots put my pop dots on it okay so I'm going to take this off Oh, I'm so not done with the glitter. I love the stinking glitter. And then I used, uh, I'm using liquid pearl here next year. You'll like how I did everything. I got glitter glue on my fingers. Fingernails. So I just stuck him in. Like he's coming after him. So now it pops, it sticks that up. And what I did for, and I'm going to get to the eyes yet here. I want to do the corners. Make sure it's all off here. So I used this particular glue. It's that new kind at Walmart, but it's, it's like the icicle stuff. And I just went in here and I just put extra in here to make it look like a fog look that covers up the hot glue. I just had fun. It didn't hurt to put extra in. And I'm covering up the glitter glue or the um, hot glue. 
Nobody has to know, but you guys are getting my secret. And we're going to be done on this third part, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I put a little extra down the side. Again, to give that more ominous. And now remember, I still have that green in there, so it gives it like a Greek green glow in the background. And then I'm going to put some down here. And I'm going to put extra on the bottom so it looks like fog around the ground. And I'm going to put it up underneath the sticker here. Again, be sure that you don't hit uh, the seam because you don't want it to um, stick when your slider pulls. And then I'll put in between. And then you can see it down here. Okay, now here's the really cool part. Let me put some more over here. I love this stuff. Um, I used it on the uh, spider webs and I tried to get it super thick on the spider webs. Now I put some on the back and you're going to see why. We're going to put it there to give some design to the back. And again, I don't have my um, stamp logo on the back yet. But if you do it just right, look how that comes out and it dries like there's like glittery cobwebby. And then I just went around the side and I pulled it through a little bit. So I just think it, it came out really cool. And I'm going to put that through here. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side. There is one more thing after this that we are going to do. And I'm going to pull it through on the edge to give some decoration here. Okay, so I got that. Only one thing left to do. And it's my ruby red pearls for the eyes of the spider. And you want to put it like on a high fan, and but not where it's directly on her. So it doesn't mess it up. So you want to ball it up a little bit. And there you go. There is my piece, and I, I'm going to let this dry, and then do more on a pictorial here. Um, but there's my number six one, and I will show you real quick if I can find another one here. That's the exact same one that I just did. This was the first one I did. And it just pops out. That's my ATC swap card. And again, I had to change a little bit to it, but it's done, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and again, I will have my stuff on the back. But um, there's my Ghost and Goblins ATC Artist Trading Card Swap. Bye, guys. Look for my information down here, over here. Come follow me on Facebook. Love ya.